Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to another amazing tutorial this is a collaboration with NPS 3D YouTube channel and today you will be learning this amazing element 3D stuff by NPS 3D itself so without wasting any further time let's get started Hey what's up guys NPS 3D here and welcome back to yet another excited element 3D tutorial. Let's get started the tutorial and you are watching this video just because we are going to recreate this effect inside element 3D. So this video is my inspiration from this guy. Alright so here we are inside element 3D and I already tested this effect and it's coming very cool you can see. So first let's make a new comp I'm going to create 1920 by 1080 24 or 30 60 anything which you want you can do it and I have one more moon texture I downloaded from online I will put a link in my video description you can go there and check it so let's simply drag and drop and make this as a texture and I can rename it to the moon texture let's create a new solid rename it to the element 3d and simply apply element 3d by pressing control space and then I will go to the scene setup but first let me drag the moon texture here and off it go to the element 3d and go to the custom layer custom texture map and load that moon texture here go to the scene setup and simply create a new sphere it has some less vertices so what you can do you can increase the segment so in this case I am going to use 18 18 is good enough but if you want you can make it 24 don't go too much we don't need too much you can select this model and make sure this is optimized mesh checked on and now let's load the material here so I will go to the diffuse and I will load the material here pretty good hit ok and let's refine this moon texture so I will go to the moon texture here and now I will divide this moon in two part because in our reference you can see it has some glowing part and some dark part so I'm going to do it from here so first I'll press ctrl R and it will bring the ruler and I will drag the ruler here so it will divide the texture in two parts just duplicate this and I'll add a simply mask here and you can you know you can just change the mask length anytime so let's select this one and make it rename it to the dark one let's apply curse effect on the dark image and just down the brightness and maybe it, you know I'm just trying to make it more dark it's fine for now let's come back here it's pretty good go back to the element 3d and let's make this more good so first of all I will just copy this material and I will place this in a glossiness folder so it will remove the glossiness fine now I will copy this material and I will paste into normal bump and now I will go to the normal bump and here I will click on the texture bump and it will create a texture from this particular image and now I will down it little bit somewhere around here it's good pretty good now I will copy the same material of diffuse material and I will paste into occlusion and now I will tweak just a little bit like I can increase the contrast if I want something like this pretty good pretty good even I can also do I can just down the glossiness because I don't want any glossiness so this looks good to me I will hide the draft texture so I can see the texture if you think the texture is not good make sure you can use I am using 2k texture but you can use even 4k as well as and for fixing this little bit more you can go to the select the material I mean select the object go to the texture mapping and make sure this is spherical now this looks good and hit ok perfect and if you think this is too dark go to the moon texture and you can just make it little bright like this fine now let's go to the scene setup again and for brightening this object I mean this area white area what you can do you can go to the glossiness I mean illumination option and make sure this is you use the diffuse color checked on and increase the intensity little bit or you can use I mean you can just copy this material and paste into the illumination illumination and hide this one and you can increase this one as well as so both options are here it's up to you what you want to use so pretty good and let's duplicate this material four times so I will press alt and I'll duplicate it here somewhere around here. let's go to the front view I can also enable the grid if I want duplicate four times perfect and make sure to rename it to one for 
animating purpose i am going to select one by one and i am going to change them i am going to put them in auxiliary channel one two three four let's create a new let's create a new plane and place it somewhere around here and let's apply a material from procedures let's go to the ground and let's apply any ground maybe this one i am going to the uv mapping and make it three by three let's ground sand okay let's make it five by five and let's select this material first remove everything and select this material and make sure this is dark and uh, for reflection what i can do more i can select this plane and make it mirror surface or i can use any reflected material so let's make this one as a ground and try to create some reflection from this texture and i can down the glossiness from here as well as if i want i will select this plane go to the i will select this plane material and go to the advanced section and make sure the matte shadow and matte reflection checked on and now again i will tweak something more to get the good reflection maybe something like this or or later i can change it if i want but for now this is good somehow let's create a new camera and position i mean make the frame so i'm going to use 50 mm perfect let's import a background image i downloaded this from pixels i can also add a new adjustment layer and i will try to dark the background more and i can add a mask and press f and make it subtract and press f and feather it little bit like this perfect i can also use a new solid and make it this this dark and place it behind everything and then you can use go to the element 3d and animate it go to the group one of zilli channel and open channel one channel two channel three four and add a keyframe line by line just like this one go to the rotation and make sure you are going to rotate this axis so let's add rotation here x keyframe so in first one let's add 0 second one add 90 in the third one add 180 and in the fourth one use 270 and go to the very end somewhere around 10 second and just add one every rotation add one here perfect and let's check this i'm going to down this as a half so you can check pretty good i can do more is i can just add a fast box blur and maybe i can blur the background little bit and even i can make the background more darker and i can also apply tint effect let's duplicate element 3d layer ctrl d to duplicate it Let's go to the output and make it to the illumination and then apply a deep glow effect and go to the input and increase the threshold just a little bit like this one and you can down the exposure or add the exposure it depends on you and going to change the blending mode to the additive or maybe I will change it to the screen and the task is done I like the white one and for the final thing i can use a adjustment layer on the top of everything i can add a curse effect to finalize everything so let's add a little curse here so let's change the texture i don't like this so everything is up to you and whenever you are done you can go to the output and make sure to increase the samples everywhere for getting a good result and in the end you can add motion blur too because your object is animating you can also add a final adjustment layer for the noise and just put it here and make it full 
and this is it guys i am in and we will see you next time with another great excited element 3d tutorial this is it for now so guys i hope you really enjoyed this amazing collaboration tutorial video with nps 3d youtube channel and if you really love our videos then don't forget to subscribe to nps 3d and also vfx world and for more notification press the bell button and if you still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below go and check out we will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world Thank you.